Hello everyone, this is Meghnath. Welcome back. In this module, we will learn how to write a simple if condition and we will see an illustration with a simple code and how we can use it in C programs. In the previous module, we learned the list of control structures. We have just seen the list of control structures which are categorized into branching and looping. So in branching, we have seen if condition, if else condition, if else, if else, if else condition and switch case and conditional operator. In the looping, in control structures, we have seen for loop, while loop, and do while loop. Now in this module, we will see a simple illustration about how to use if condition. So let's get started. Now to explain that, so we'll write a simple program. So let me open MS Paint and say this. Let's take, I have a requirement. I want to check if the number, and let's see that the number number 4, we'll read a number from the user. I want to check if the number is even number or odd number. So how can we decide the number is even or odd? If the number is divisible by 2, so if we do modulo division 2, if it returns reminder of 0, that's an even number. Let's take number 5. So 5 modulo 2, the reminder is 1, so that's odd number. So we'll use this logic. So we'll try, we'll read a number from the user and we'll try to divide. Remember, we are doing modulo division, not the actual division. So modulo division will give the reminder. So we'll read a number from the user and we'll divide with modulo divide with two. If it is, if the answer is zero, it's even number. If the answer is one, it's odd number. Or if the answer is not zero, it's odd number. So let's write the program. Now, as usual, so I just open code blocks, open the code block software, and file new empty file and uh, we're working on lecture 8 so what I'll do now is I'll save it and I'll save it here we already have um, so let's save it as 8 dot even or odd number dot C indicating that it's a C program now I'll write here include stdivo dot H include conivo dot H and void main and now first thing we write is we'll write variable declaration and the comments is not so much visible that's okay because these are comments that are ignored by the compiler and in case if you want to change the color of this you can easily do that in um, settings editor settings and you can go to uh, syntax highlighting and comments so as of now it's having green color you can change it to um, whatever color you want so normally we give a green color, dark green or whatever because it's ignored by the compiler, right? So we don't have to, um, yeah, let's click on this and click OK and click OK. So now uh, once you change it, we just need to close and open this. That's OK. Now, now what I'll do is int input. So that's for reading the value from the user. Now I'll write here, read values from user. So that's a comment. Now how to read values from the user? So printf, enter any number, and we use scanf. Scanf, remember, in scanf, we have to put percentile D for integer and ampersand input. Now we're reading the value. Now we'll write the logic. So we'll write the logic. If input modulo, if the input modulo two, remember in double if condition, we use double equals two. If input modulo two, that means the input is divisible by 2. We need to print printf. Personal D is even number. So in case of person D, in place of person D, we want to print input. Now else, else printf, personal D is odd number. Now input. Now we can write like this. And as usual, last line we used to put get ch. Now I also told you to write uh, to write comments um, to write comments like this. So um, author and the purpose. So let's put stars and um, and author. I'm writing my name and purpose. Purpose to read a number from user and check even or odd. Now we're just closing the comments. Now what we did now is we declared a variable and we are reading the value from the user 
and we are checking if the number is divisible by 2 and remember we are using modular division if the number is divisible by 2 we are printing its even number else that means it's not this condition is not satisfied we are printing it as odd number now let's run the code save it and build it and you can see there are no errors and let's run the code now it's asking me to enter the number I'm entering number 9 so 9 modulo 2 is 1 so it's odd number so so let's run the code once again now I'll enter number 12 remember 12 is even number so we're getting 12 as even number so we're getting the output right so this is how we need to write a simple if condition followed by an else condition if you need it right so now in the next module we will learn how to use a conditional operator and um, and how you can change this into a single line right now and also before we close this we'll also see how to use if else if else if else right let's take my requirement is zero is neither even nor odd number so we want uh, to add one more condition so what we can do is if input is zero we want to just write here the number is zero now we'll write here else if so if it's not zero input modulo 2 equal to zero so first we are checking for zero if the number is zero we are printing the number is zero else if if this is not satisfied check for this condition and we'll print here even number in the last we write here else else always make it make sure that you write the last statement as else printf percentile d is odd number comma input so what we learned in this case is so we are checking for multiple if conditions and remember if one condition is satisfied it will skip the remaining it doesn't check for the remaining conditions so if this is zero it will not check for these conditions it will directly after completing this it will jump to here so so if okay, this condition if the number is zero we are printing the number is zero else if if it's not zero we are checking if it's divisible by two and we are printing even number else that means if if all above conditions are not satisfied it'll go to else and it'll print as odd number so let's save it and build it and let's run the code now see here i'm entering zero the number is zero now let's run the code now i'll enter here number uh, number three three is an odd number now let's enter now uh, let's enter number six you can see six is an even number so this is how we write a simple if else condition and we have also seen if else if else condition in the next module we will learn how to use a conditional operator right so as usual I am saving this code uh, in uh, github so that you can download it for reviewing so let's go to this and uh, click on upload files and let me select the C program and I'll select here uh, where is it in my D drive my C programs and I can see here even or odd dot C and and it's uploaded let me click on commit changes so how you can get these files you just need to type um, you just need to type the URL github.com slash make slash C and you can get the files you can download the file that you want right so that's all for now see you in the next lecture Thank you.